Hi, this video is going to show you how you can use Streamlink to download replays of events uh, basically uh, using the service Tennis Channel Plus uh, by going to their website. So Tennis Channel Plus is an add-on service, uh, slightly different than Tennis Channel, where you can purchase it uh, for about $110 plus there's a handling fee uh, for a year. And it airs basically all the tennis tournaments except for uh, three of the large majors, you know, Australian Open, Wimbledon, U.S. Open. There's maybe like one or two other random tournaments uh, that doesn't have, but pretty much every other professional tennis tournament um, is carried on there. And it pretty much also houses replays for all of these tournaments uh, as well. Okay, so now just before I begin, uh, I'm gonna I have a couple things already prepared. I'm gonna show those to you just so you can get the, uh, you know the, those prepared as well um, if you're following along. So obviously I have a subscription to Tennis Channel Plus, so I've gone ahead you know and signed in, logged into my account. In addition to that, I have a command prompt open. The way you get to that is you know just go to like the Start menu in Windows and you can type CMD. And that'll open the window, uh, command prompt window, and then you have to navigate to the directory where Streamlink is installed. So I've already basically gone ahead and done that. To go back a directory, you can just type cd dot dot. So like for example, cd dot dot will take me back, you know, one thing. And then eventually, once say you're back at the C drive, then you can go to the directory where Streamlink is installed. Most likely, it's in program files x86 slash streamlink. So, you know, CD space, and then you can type the name of the directory you want to change to. And then I do it again, move to streamlink. And uh, the files are actually installed under another, streamlink exe is actually installed under another directory called bin. So I'm going to change to that directory. So I've got my command prompt up. That's where I'm going to run the streamlink command to actually start the download. And then the other thing I have up is a notepad file and the notepad file has in it uh, basically two kind of generic commands so the first one is for uh, streamlink which will actually start and you know download the uh, match as a ts file and then the second thing is an ffmpeg command ffmpeg is a program that you can get with streamlink that'll convert the ts file to an mkv file just because the uh, an mkv file is usually able to be viewed on uh, more devices and also usually it's a little more stable than uh, like the raw transport stream or TS file. Okay, and this text for these, you know, generic commands, this will be in the description of the video. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is just go down and pick a, a replay of a match. I'm just gonna go to uh, St. Petersburg uh, Open, which is going on right now, and I'll click on that. <clears throat> and now I'll go down to uh, just one of the shorter ones, just to try to get this done as quickly as possible. Before I click on it, and this is similar to the process you know I'd use for downloading events, saving events, whether from ESPN or from you know Fox.com for Fox programs. Okay, so I'm going to go to More Tools, and then Developer Tools. And now that that's open, make sure that the Network tab down here is selected and then also in this box it'll probably be blank if you bring it up but uh, just type m3u8 that's we're looking for an m3u8 file to grab and then we're going to paste that into the streamlink command in the notepad and we'll copy it from notepad paste it in the command prompt hit enter it'll run it should start downloading and saving uh, the replay of the match okay so i'm going to just click on this match Notice there's a, a couple things that came up. And the one I want is <clears throat> this top one right here. I don't want the ones that end with like single letters, like G dot F dot E dot D dot that are all in order. I want this one uh, at the top here that starts with USGOL dot Sinclair story line dot com. So right click, choose copy, copy link address. Then I'm going to bring up <clears throat> my notepad here. I'm going to paste that, you know, where it says here, because that's where I want the link to go. And then I'm going to copy the entire thing. I'm just going to turn off the audio so it's not coming through on my speaker. And now I'll go to the command prompt and I'm just going to right click to paste it, hit enter.
and now you can see it's starting downloading. And since this is a replay, it should download it uh, fairly quickly. Also, you can see all the available options there for the... <clears throat> I'm just going to cover up the uh, actual match itself just so that this doesn't get flagged by uh, YouTube for having prohibitive content. Uh, you can see the different quality options of the match there. 720p is usually the best. Um, so, But if you just put best in the command stream link command line, it'll go ahead and uh, grab that quality. Also, make sure that the video is playing You know, once you execute the stream link command in the command prompt. Uh, the video has to be actually playing just for it to start. It doesn't. You don't have to let it continue playing after that. Once it starts downloading, like it is now, you know, I can stop the video. I can actually navigate away from the page, and it'll just continue to download the whole thing. So just once, once uh, you get the video download going, then you can stop it playing. You can like whatever, go to another web page. Okay. So in the video. I'm not going to leave all this time in where it's downloading. That'll be cut out, and it'll basically then jump to the end. And then after that, you know, I'll come back in a little bit and show you <clears throat> then how to convert the file to an MKV, and then just open the file and play it just to show you that it downloaded the video and audio correctly. OK, so now uh, the video is done downloading. So like I said, uh, the next step is to run FFmpeg on it. So I'm going to go back to my notepad file. And um, this is just you know, the basic command that you're going to use. You can here, obviously, you can call the file whatever you want. I'm um, just you know, calling it file.mkv for the output. And so now I have to actually navigate to a different directory because FFmpeg is installed under the main Streamlink one, not in the BIN directory. So I'll do cd dot dot to move backwards, and then cd ffmpeg to move there. Right click, hit enter. It'll take a little while to do this, but it actually shouldn't take long at all. Did you see how quickly it's moving? Because that's the time uh, right there. OK, and it's now done. So now uh, what I'm going to do is basically play the video just with some sound, but I'm going to move it. I'm going to uh, make it basically uh, very, very small, just so again, so that like the copyright copyright issues don't come into play. Okay, so let me just. Just real quick as I go. Three minutes, six games to one, Austin Peng. Okay, so you should be able to see there, it is the entire uh, file, it is the entire match. And it downloaded the whole thing, got it into a nice MKV file. Now you can watch it, you know, wherever, put it on a mobile device. And now you can actually fast forward because the uh, Tennis Channel app, you know, and say on iOS doesn't allow you to fast forward or even move the slider on replays of matches. But now you can watch this in VLC or another program and you can fast forward, skip ahead, you know, uh, do whatever. Uh, or on, you know, watch it on the computer, of course, as well. I also have a separate video about recording uh, live events from a Tennis Channel, or specifically really from Tennis Channel Plus. Uh, it's very, very similar to this video, um, except it, that you, know, you basically have to manually start and stop um, the recording. Because a replay you know, is just a, basically a file, or really you know, an event that's stored out there, and you can just go in and grab it. Um, and it does it very quickly, but obviously for a live event, you know, you start recording when you want, and then you have to manually, you know, stop the recording um, for when you're done, you know, with the event or however long you want to record it for. It doesn't just automatically go in and, you know, grab it like it does for a replay. So look out for that separate video on my channel um, once there's some actual live events airing, because right now there aren't any going on. And uh, if you have any questions, um, 
I would say, please send me an email. It'll be listed in the description below. Try not to listen in the comments because for some reason YouTube is not publishing the comments uh, on my videos, even though I do get the email notification about them. All right. Thanks. Bye.